Do you want to learn how to render pork or beef fat? I'm going to show you how. We're going to render some beef fat that I got at our local meat market, Herman's Meats, for making suet for the birds, but you can also use it for cooking. So what do we need to render fat? We need some beef fat and we need a crock pot and that's it. It's simple. The first thing we're going to do is, is cut the beef fat into smaller pieces just so it fits in the crock pot. Um, I put this in the freezer but it still cuts fairly easily. So these are about one inch squares. So that's good enough. You, you could cut them smaller to maybe get a little more of the fat out, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm all about being efficient. We're gonna just, we're gonna keep cutting till the crock pot is full. Some of the pieces we just throw in as is. I'm going to add a quarter cup of water to the cut up fat. That helps it get the process started when it's cooking, since it's basically all dry. And the water will evaporate as the fat is rendered out. Our crock pot is now full of cut up beef fat, quarter cup of water in it. Plug it in and turn it on low and let it cook. Don't put it on high, put it on low. You don't want it to burn and then you're just going to let it cook and cook and cook. It's been about an hour now and you can see that the beef fat has cooked down a bit. Okay, it's been two hours now and I'm going to stir it with a s slotted spoon and you can see we've got we've got some fat rendered out but you can also, so I'm just kind of stirring things around and you can also see that the volume has been reduced quite a bit but I did start with frozen beef fat so okay, it's been three hours now and let's stir the uh, beef fat around and you can see look at all the rendered fat we have now but we're gonna let it keep cooking well it's been four hours now and you can see this is really cooked down We've got a lot of rendered fat, but there's still quite a bit of fat chunks that need to keep cooking. You can see some of them are, you know, turning kind of dark, like they've got most of the fat cooked out of them. So we'll just let it keep cooking. So it's been five hours and our fat has really cooked down. But there's still some white looking pieces, but most of it's turning brown. So I'd say probably we'll cook it one more hour and we'll be done. So let's cook it another hour and check back. It's been six hours and it looks like our fat is done. Look at how all the bits and pieces of fat have turned brown. Pretty much all the fat has been rendered out of it. So see how I've got this slotted spoon? That's an important thing because I'm going to scoop up spoonfuls of the um, cracklings and put them in a frying pan. I've just got a black skillet here that I can let all the fat drain off or most of it and put the cracklings in the pan and we're gonna let we're gonna let this cool a bit before we put it in jars but I don't worry about the tiny little bits of uh, pieces in here like some people would say you'd need to strain it I am not gonna strain it for one thing this is going to be used for bird food and the birds will eat it anyway and another plus is all these cracklings that I'm taking out of here they're excellent bird food so I will put these out on a tray feeder a hanging tray feeder and things like the Blue Jays love it, crows like it. I've seen the little yellow rumped warblers picking at it too. And it makes sense because birds, all of our birds are insectivores and they like the protein and the fats in insects and this is really good for them to eat this kind of stuff. And most of our birds like, well think about crows and jays 
you know, they'll eat dead animals all the time. So, there you have it. I've got most of it out. I'm going to turn off the crock pot and let this cool for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes and then put it in jars. Okay, I've let this, the uh, fat cool for about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to take a measuring cup and scoop it up. And there you can see how nice and clear it is. And I'm going to pour it into a jar. And you can see there's little bits and pieces of cracklings, but that'll be fine to put in the suet mix that we make with this. And let's get a little more in here. We'll let that cool, and then I just store it in the refrigerator until I need to use it. And then I'll put the cracklings, I'll put in a bag and store those in the refrigerator and serve those to the birds. And you can also feed them to pets and stuff too, just little bits of them as a treat. And I guess you can eat them too, I've never done it. They don't look very appetizing to me. Anyway, it's rendering suet, it's so easy. You only dirty, really, your um, crock pot. And I guess I did dirty a spoon to mix it and the measuring cup, but it's really not messy. These are the two jars or two pints of beef fat we rendered. And beef fat is technically known as tallow. So this is our finished product after it's cooled. And you can see the, the fat has you know, solidified, which is typical of animal fat at room temperature. I hope you found this video informative and maybe even a little entertaining. Um, if this was the kind of video you're interested in, you might consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm going to keep bringing some how-to videos to you as well as nature and wildlife videos. So if you like this video, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, uh, share it with your friends, and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel. Thanks for watching.